I've got 226 angry horsepower rumbling between my legs, my kickstand is up and I'm ready to tackle circuit Ricardo Tormo aboard the all-new Ducati Panigale V4, the most highly anticipated sport bike of the year. But I'm also a tad distracted by the sound emanating from the underslung exhaust. It doesn't sound like the brand's traditional V-twin configuration, because it isn't. The new Panigal is Ducati's first ever V4-powered production motorcycle. To put this in terms readers not intimately familiar with Ducati's history can relate to, the controversial move to a V4 is akin to Porsche's abandonment of air-cooled engines, or the electrification of hypercars. The 1103cc V4 shares a layout with Ducati's exotic MotoGP race bike. Unlike the more conventional 180-degree crankshaft found on V4-powered bikes such as the Aprilia or SV4, the Ducati employs a 70-degree crank pin offset and a twin-pulse firing pattern that makes it run like two back-to-back -back V-twins, firing with a 1-2 pulse along one bank, a brief pause, then another 3-4 pulse. Close your eyes, and it sounds bit like a Ducati V-twin, but with a slightly less irregular and staccato rhythm. The sound is deep. Bold and familiar, related, but not exactly the same. To be fair, there have been V4 Ducatis, but they weren't production models, the limited production Dismo C DCRR, which was essentially a road legal spin off of the 2007 season MotoGP bike, and the 1960s era Apollo prototype, an ill fated would be Harley killer, of which only two were built. The power plant's unique features, such as a counter-rotating crankshaft that reduces the gyroscopic effect of moving parts to help the bike corner while reducing the tendency to wheelie, are also derived from the company's MotoGP bikes. All in all, the new V4 produces 214 horsepower, or a stunning 226 horsepower with the optional Akrapovic race exhaust, and 91.5 pounds to foot of torque at the crank.